In this video, I'm going to show you some really cool ways to load in new geometry file formats and how that compares to the original file formats that are provided with Nuke. We'll also take a look at the VR mesh and the V-Ray proxy node. Now let's load in the sphere through the read geo node. We'll press the R key, load in the FBX, click the all objects, load in the OBJ, and load in the Alembic. Now we'll apply a V-Ray material. And we'll look at what the output is like on the FBX. As you can see, it's the same for all three read geo nodes in three different file formats. So if we wanted to assign this material just to this sphere and not these knobs, you can do that in the apply material filter dropdown. We'll change that to name and we're looking at the FBX object now. So if we choose, there's nothing to choose from. So now we'll look at the OBJ, try and choose something for that. Nothing is available. And we'll hook up the Alembic file. We'll change the filter to name choose and we can select items from there now. So now you can see how that's changed in the viewer. Now the really cool thing that V-Ray for Nuke adds to this is the ability to bring in geometry with much higher polygon count and provide better 3D interactivity. So we'll, we're looking at this Alembic file assignment right now and we'll switch over to the 3D mode and you can see every polygon here. So now we'll load in a V-Ray proxy of the same Alembic file and take a look at what that looks like. So if we look at the scene and switch to our V-Ray proxy, you can tell that there's a lot less geometry there. So we can actually move around the scene much better and have more interactivity and having a higher polygon count and it will just display a lower res version of that. The same polygons are there for the final render, which we'll take a look at now. And now to make sure our material assignments are coming through with our apply material, we'll change the V-Ray material to have a different color. We'll make that red. And there you can see that. The V-Ray proxy node also supports the V-Ray native VR mesh file format. Uh, now the material assignments have changed because with the Alembic file, our scene graph has actual named geometry. With the V-Ray proxy node, and so we see there's sphere V-Ray material and frames V-Ray material. What this is, is in the V-Ray mesh file format, it's listing the materials that were assigned to that geometry. So you can select the sphere and hit OK, and that returns our selection.